One of the main highlights of the iPhone 15 lineup is the introduction of USB-C, finally. But one of the added benefits, if you have an iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max, is the fact that you can now record video directly onto an external SSD, just like this one. This video is sponsored by SK Hynix, who have sent me the P31 SSD. In this video, I'm not gonna talk about this SSD specifically, which is, by the way, an excellent and blazing fast SSD. I did do a separate review of this SSD from SK Hynix, and if you're interested in seeing that, do click on the link over here. But rather, I'm gonna show you first how you enable recording on an external SSD but also a couple of ways on how to make that setup a bit easier and more convenient. Now, unfortunately, as of today, the only way you can record on an external SSD is if you record in ProRes format. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure this is enabled. And to do that, go into your settings and scroll all the way down to camera and then click on formats, scroll down and make sure that Apple ProRes is selected. Then all you have to do is plug in the SSD just like that and then open the camera go to video on the top left corner you can see ProRes over here click on that to enable ProRes and you will see at the bottom right below the record button that it says USB-C and up top it tells you the maximum recording time which is 202 minutes but obviously having a dangling SSD is not really convenient to record video so I've been playing around trying to figure out a couple of convenient ways to have the setup. And the first method is quite simple and inexpensive. You need to get something like this, which is a 90 degree USB-C adapter. It has a male connector on one side and a female connector on the other. And you just plug that into your phone and then you can plug the SSD directly into that. But that does not solve the dangling issue. So to solve that, I got a USB-C to USB-C male to male adapter, plug this in, and then plug the SSD right into that. And this way, the SSD does not dangle anymore. Now, it is just a little bit loose, as you can see, so it does wobble around a bit. And if you're like me, you will set out on trying to solve that. There's a couple of ways you can do it. The first one is just simply attaching a Velcro strip on the SSD and the case of your iPhone, which would keep this in place. But I took this a little bit further to make use of the MagSafe ring that's on the iPhone. What I did is I got a MagSafe ring sticker, and this is meant to give you MagSafe or magnetic capabilities to covers, let's say they do not have MagSafe. And the idea is just to stick that on the SSD itself. So when you plug it in, that magnet will hold it in place and it will not wobble. And to get the right placement, I placed that MagSafe ring on the MagSafe ring of a cover. I peeled off the adhesive back and I plugged the SSD as I would normally. The adhesive on that ring stuck to the SSD in the right position. Now, unfortunately, this SSD from SK Hynix is quite, quite small, which is really nice for portability, but this means that this MagSafe ring is larger than the SSD, so it's gonna protrude. You might be fine with that, but if you're not, you can take it even a step further and just cut down, trim the protruding parts of that MagSafe ring. So I mark the protruding parts, and uh, my first attempt did not go well because these MagSafe rings were stronger than my tools, but then I got those gigantic bolt cutters. I trimmed off the protruding parts and then I sanded it a bit just to get rid of those rough edges. And then I stuck it back to the SSD. And, and now when I connect the SSD, the magnet will hold it in place just enough for it not to wobble around. And I, I think this is a quite inexpensive solution for the occasional shoot that you might have. But if you are a bit more serious about video recording on your iPhone and you wanna go even further, you can get a cage like this which will hold your iPhone over here in the middle. And it has a couple of cold shoe adapters on top, which will come in handy. The added advantage of having a cage like this is that you would get more 
control and maneuverability of your iPhone when shooting and more stability than just holding it with your hands. Now there's of course several ways you can attach the SSD to this. You can also use a Velcro strip, but instead I decided to use one of those phone clamps. I attached a cold shoe to the thread and I just attached it to the cage and put the SSD and then you can just plug it into the iPhone. You can take it even one step further by attaching a video light to the other cold shoe. So this will give you a fill light when you're filming. And if you want to take it even further, you can also attach a microphone to the third cold shoe. Now this presents a small challenge. The microphone would normally be connected to your iPhone. However, we're already using that single USB-C port for the SSD, so there's no place to plug in the iPhone. But yes, of course, I do have a solution for that. And there's two different things you can do. First solution, if you happen to have a voice recorder lying around, you can get something like this, which would expand your cold shoes and give you another three different cold shoes and then attach the voice recorder and the microphone would record into the voice recorder and then you will have to sync the audio in post-production or and this is by far my favorite solution you can get a usb hub attach the hub to the iphone and then plug in both the ssd and the microphone into the hub and surprisingly that works. That single USB connection can give you both the microphone input, but also right onto the SSD, as you can see. So there you have it. The ability to record onto an SSD is great. It will allow you to record far more than you can on the iPhone's internal storage, and you don't have to constantly free up space on your iPhone. You can get a one terabyte or two terabyte SSD, and even if that's full, you can swap SSDs and continue recording. And the nice thing is when you connect the SSD to your laptop, you have the movie files right there. You don't have to transfer them from your iPhone. I think it's quite convenient. Let me know in the comments section what you thought, or if you have any other creative solutions on how to do this. And as always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as this encourages me to continue producing content. Until next time, cheers.